All right guys, so we're gonna put in a triple tree fork today. Um, the suspension one and the straight fork are identical. Uh, you're gonna need the Allen key that goes in those and something to tighten your wheel, and some painter's tape, tape measure. I'm doing clip-ons on this one. I'm gonna explain how to put this on so that it doesn't loosen up because it seems like a lot of people have that problem and they miss one simple step. Uh, the other thing I'll be explaining is how to put one of these on. So we'll get back to that in a minute, but I'm going to do the clip on one first and then I'll explain this one after. Alright, so they have a tool that's similar to this. It's got a piece of threaded rod, two metal things, and they pull the bearings together, which is how I'll be putting them in. Uh, you could also use a rubber mallet and install them. But for, I already have these. These are just some machinist clamps. So this is what I've been using. Yeah, I don't even technically have the right tool, but all it is is you put the two on and it pulls the bearings together. So we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, this next part, whew, it is hot today up here. Make sure all these are loose. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you'll see this little ring. We want to push this all the way flat so it sits against this. This is the bottom rest for your bearing. Alright, so once you get it on, you want it on there so it's like this. I'm going to move you over here. Alright, so now what we're going to do... We're going to take it like this. We're going to slide it up there. Rest it down. And I'm going to run a marker like this. So we got an idea where that is going to rest. All right. So let's take that in, and we'll get the fork all ready for the next step. Alright guys, so the next part, you're going to take your little collar, slide it to that line. You're going to put this on like that, and you're going to slide this on so they're all lined up, and next we will measure this so we know where to put the fork at. So, my clip-ons are actually 40 millimeters. So to do them on the top, you want to go 10 past that. So we're going to want to be 50 millimeters of fork above that. So, we will grab the first side and we'll line it up and get it in and be good to go here. So, alright. So 
is just a rough idea. So we're going to be maybe all we need is a pipe opener. All right. piece of painter's tape and put it right here. Alright. Now this one. Should be identical to Let's double check. Yeah, right on the money. Okay. So we're going to want to take a piece of painter's tape and put it on this one so we get it right there. Okay. So we got our two bottoms marked. We'll straighten all this up after. But this is just to help keep it in the ballpark for while we set this up. And funny enough, I actually just put this in backwards. Park idea. We're going to tighten those down. Just eyeball it for now. You don't have to go all he man and stuff. So for this next part, what I like to do is actually mount the tire on it. That way I can get it in line so I can straighten those correctly. Okay. So it's this. Oh, that's the one that moved actually. All right. So that pretty much. What I did is just tighten these two down now. As long as the tire looks straight, looks nice and straight in there, it's not slanted or anything, we should be good to go. So I'm going to put this in next. She's supporting her own weight. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take this piece. You're going to slide it down in. You're going to take this piece and it should cover that one completely. Okay. You're going to take then this piece, the sides with the indents or the bottom.
actually screwed up when I did this too. I got to put the uh, foam, foam covers back on. cut that very well. Let me uh, fix that. I had to take that little burr off the left. Alright. Alright. Put this back on. So what I like to do is take a socket that's just smaller than the little grippers. That way you get a little bit of room. tight as I can get it pushed together by hand. I'm going to grab a few of these. Almost. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that was close. Maybe two of these. There we go. Just so that it just rides above this. Just like that. See how much clearance we have? Alright. Alright, so now that I got these all pushed together as tight as I can by hand, I'm going to put the end cap on so it rests on top of these spaces. And then you slowly tighten this in to the star nut you put inside the tube. And it'll pull and pull. So it feels like it's pretty good. There we go. Now my headset is all locked together. Alright, so after that you're going to want to put your little button cap. Finish it off. Now my fork did not come threaded. So, I mean, they always will. It's just this was a mess up at the factory, and I got it pretty cheap because of that. All right. I'll tighten that one. I'll tighten this one. Okay. Whew. Tighten this one. <sighs> That should be it. Whew. All right. We buy a pair of these. The marking that says the size, which is 32 millimeter, will be there. I'm going to kind of leave about five millimeters of space from the top. I don't know where these are going to be comfortable at. 
but for now I'm just going to tighten them in place. You always want to leave a little bit of overhang like that. And you could technically cut this off, but I don't want it in case I ever use it for something else down the road. Okay, so option two with the triple tree fork is you can do something like this. All right, so what I did is the same basic scenario as the other one. I used a spacer and then I used the actual stem as a spacer so that it was just above. End cap, pulled it all together, tightened the stem and then tightened the bolts. So that's basically it. And by the way, when you put these through, you want at least 10 millimeters to be above. That's just in case, you know, oh shit scenario. <laughs> but at least that way you got a little bit uh you know, but, um, yeah, instead of using the stack of spacers like I did on the other one, you use the stem and a spacer and the cap into the stem, pull it all together, tighten your stem, tighten that, and you're good to go. So, same thing. And remember, the straight fork and the suspension triple tree one, they go on exactly the same way.